Hey there friends and welcome back to Shabby Shack Studio. This month or this vid we are talking about all things November Bujo and um, the setup for my journal for this month. Um, as you can see just lighting a candle on a favourite little pottery dish I have, popping in my glasses of nice fresh water. I have my palette of watercolours that are actually, these colours I used last month and they are favourites. Uh, they just always have my heart. So I'm just wetting those down first of all. So um, you may be one of those people that like to clean off your palette before you start, but I hate throwing away paints that are just so gorgeous. So I leave them exactly where they are. This palette I do use for a lot of my creative uh, work so for me I can throw some pens and things in the other little trays and I don't need to to wash the the excess paint off and throw it away or wipe it away um, for me you know paints are precious so here I'm just adding in a little bit of extra color in as well because I wanted to go wanted to focus on these beautiful leaves. You can see some um, in front of you here. These are from a magnolia tree that is blooming at the front of our home. Uh, and I just love the way that the leaves have just these gorgeous shapes. The one on my pad there, um, totally blew me away. I just love the beautiful shapes. And I had been thinking of what I was gonna do for this month. So I'd been actually creating these sweet little waves and and lumps on the leaves like that and then thinking oh, you know do I need it to be too perfect can it be um fun and 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 you know indicative of nature and how she and how she grows and, and her beautiful shapes and and she never gets it wrong so walking out in the morning to walk my beautiful little puppy and picking up that leaf it was just like you know I'm totally on, on the money. That's exactly how I'm going to do them this month. So um, you'll feature, see them featured a lot uh, throughout our journal. So as you can see, I've picked up my favorite pad as usual, my Montmartre. It's an A5 um, watercolor book. Um, I actually have 30 sheets in this and you can see it has a nice perforated top. So I just love it when I'm creating and watercoloring. It's a 190 GSM and it has a beautiful rib. It's a really inexpensive book. You will notice here on, on the channel that I'm a big fan of not spending a fortune on things that way. Um, you always have a reason not to create or a sadness that you can't afford to. I want to, people to realize that you can afford to be creative. You can do, um, I, I like a lot of my work is a couple of colors. So if you wanted to buy just a couple of pans of color or an inexpensive student set or inexpensive pads like this, this is literally $4.50 for 30 sheets. Um, and I just, I keep going back and picking them up no matter how long I've been painting because I just love this pad, this paper. Um, you, you'll see the colors, little pans of colors I have there. They're my Van Gogh. They are a, a professional series, one that I graduated to this year. They were a Christmas present uh, last year from my beautiful family um, who had watched me use up all of my student quality paints and been watercoloring so often. So um, they did say, hey, mom, like, write your, your, your Christmas list out and let us know which brand you would like to um, have in your Christmas stocking. So I did a little bit of research and I chose this beautiful set. It actually has a timber box and brushes and everything that came with it. Um, but I prefer to have them out like this and just mix them on that little uh, palette right there. Um, it works for me when I'm videoing, etc. So I will put everything below, everything will be listed, all the bits and pieces I've used, even some of the pretty things like candles and palettes and all those kind of things, I, I put them for you, uh, links for you below the video. But in case you're just listening along and you want to know immediately, I've got the orange, so a little pa half pan of orange, I have a half pan of red deep, I have the same of sap green yellow okra, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and sepia. You, of course, don't need all those browns. Um, it, you could get away with one, of course, and just add a bit more water to it. It's just I already have them. Um, they came in this beautiful set. So I pulled them all out, and I'll use the different browns, um, you know, mix them with my greens and with my okra and with that beautiful red and orange, um, and just to create a whole lot of um, beautiful shades to work with. 
I do do a color palette this month too, which is, turns out to be one of my favorite pages. It always ends up being so much fun. Um, as you can see, I really just started with a really light pencil sketch. I don't get too bogged down in that, you know, that rubbing it out or anything because I do it very lightly. It was just an idea of kind of how my reef was going to be just so that it was spatially, I knew it was going to fit on the page. Um, I wanted to have a couple of clusters of roses or flowers. They could be any kind of bloom or poppy or um, whatever. You know, I, 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 my style is very loose. So you could call them daisies. You could call them poppies. You could be more specific and, and, and um, much more careful in your style and more perfect. But this is definitely mine. You can see me definitely feeling my way. I don't pre-sketch and I don't copy off any other work. This comes purely from my imagination. So you can see me kind of adding little leaves and berries and bits along the way. I go back and, and layer in colour as it dries and um, keep going back and adding a little bit of depth for the centre, etc, etc. Um, if you've followed any of my videos or you're interested in the style, you'll see that so many, so many videos and more constantly being added um, in this very loose, um, I guess, haphazard manner that I have. Um, I'm not professionally taught. It's, it's purely something that um, lights my fire, something that just speaks to my heart and I just love to watercolour. Um, and it comes purely from my imagination. Um, I will actually try to share um, a page I did this month on socials, um, just that I'd been trying to think what I was going to do for this month, um, the theme this month. So I did put a couple of just light sketches down in pencil just to give myself an idea of um, the pages I was going to create. I actually normally don't do that, but I will show you. It's 100% totally from my imagination and, and, I'm, and it's a very... Um, you know, a very rough idea of what I'm going to do. So this month being the month of Thanksgiving, whether or not you're a person that celebrates Thanksgiving or a person like me who just tries to be um, thankful every day of the blessings I have, um, it certainly does help me be grateful when um, the trials and that, that are part of everyone's life come along. Um, it, it's wonderful to... to sit down to a meal at night with my family and um, whether we have guests or not but just grab each other's hand for a moment and give thanks for all the good things of the day and sometimes when you're having a really bad day when you're focusing on and you have to come up with something to give thanks for um, it reminds you that you know maybe the things that you thought had been so bad it gives you a little perspective about maybe things aren't really Quite as bad as they seemed in the moment and um, it, it certainly does make you realize that there's so many people that are struggling so much more than you are. So this sweet little watercolour um, was planned always to be my cover page in my journal. I will scan it um, into my computer and might use those flowers for something else along the way. But that is my cover page for November. And as I always have my sweet little page keeper, um, as you've seen in previous months, I don't need to put November on it. Um, so I generally reserve that page for 
just a piece of art or occasionally words like I did this month with Grateful Heart. So this one I wanted to play with the leaves and the acorns and all those things that are indicative of Thanksgiving and fall and spring. Uh, so whichever side of the, of the world you're on, um, it's spring here in Australia, um, but I know that it's fall on the other side of the globe. So I was just wanted to play with these sweet leaves. Um, you can see I did a pencil sketch of those just spatially so I, I knew how they were going to sit in, in, um, in relation to one another. Um, adding a little pumpkin in here as well. Um, drew so many pumpkins last month, I, I think I've nailed how to do pumpkins. Um, especially in this kind of manner, so they're, they're um, quite kind of animated and, and fun. Um, this isn't designed to be too real, it's designed to be relaxed and, and, and just joyful. So um, this is on my favourite black cardstock with my white pilot pop pen. pan. Um, again, I'll link all that for you below. And um, I'm actually drawing the, the fabric you can see in the background is actually a brand new textile from um, my new collection, We Are Australian. So you'll be able to see much more of that um, if you want to pop over to my website and you may see it uh, featured a lot more um, that in there's 14 patterns in that collection. So you're sure to see more of that um, in my videos. Okay, moving on to um, next page. This is actually the color palette um, that I wanted to do this month. So I actually had planned this in my, in my mind uh, very briefly only. I just wanted it to look like splatters of paint, a little bit like it was on, um, like on your palette or something like that. Um, I do. I just literally feel my way through this. What colour will look next? Good next to each other. So you'll see me mixing colours and adding bits in, adding a little bit of depth as I go, and then I even do a really gentle splatter. I didn't want the paint to end up on that textile below so it was quite a controlled splatter but um, fun nevertheless and then I'll go back and just put a um, really gentle pencil sketch in of each leaf or each little um, sketch I want to add each little motive and then I'll ink that at the end. As per usual I'm just going to jump in and out on the pages and have a quick chat with you and then leave you to draw and enjoy a little bit of background music.
Okay, so you can see that it's all dry now and you can see that I've started putting in some sketches of um, each motive that I want um, very, very gently kind of over that color palette. It's not meant to be perfect. It was meant to be a splash of color. Um, it was meant to be really loose. So this is me just drawing in an autumn leaf here or an oak leaf. Um, so I just wanted to show you how I just add my sketches in. They're very loose and very basic and then I, I ink them but I don't necessarily follow the exact lines and then I just really gently erase any pencil lines that, I, that are still visible before um, I finish. I normally add the words colour palette but I didn't this month because I just really felt that um, this, this style didn't need it. It, it just felt perfect when I was done to me so um, hopefully you'll do something like that this is really um, quite fun to create because you can't get it wrong and that's always wonderful um, because we tend to when we create something for ourselves we always tend to be our our hardest task master and we tend to be quite tough on ourselves so this kind of gives you a lot of freedom to just have a bit of fun Moving on to the next page, I decided to do my month at a glance just on one page this month. I've been so busy that I haven't really been filling in um, many details on this page. So I decided just to condense it a little bit this month. You can of course look at previous months if you're wanting inspiration for a double page spread. Um, or just do it 100% your way, what, what generally suits you. Um, even the um, font that I use this month I just made it a little bit more relaxed and it kind of a little bit more fun less structured um, I love this kind of fat chubby lettering um, the way it came together it was actually really really fun so again lots and lots of those leaves are going to be featured here I did a sweet little autumn or a little leaf bundle at the bottom there with acorns and berries and you can see me just kind of adding it as I go. Um, again, with a pencil sketch, um, add a little leaf, add an extra berry if I feel like it needs something else. And I pretty much recorded all this and I'm sharing it with you in real time on these pages. It was amazing how fast it came together. Um, and I haven't really had to do a lot of editing, which is a great thing this month because I injured my wrist quite badly and working on the computer is incredibly, incredibly painful. So, and it was funny because it, my wrist was um, being so kind and not painting at all when I was creating all these pages, but doing the stuff on the computer, which it, I don't find as enjoyable, obviously, as the creating, um, that is incredibly painful. So it, it luckily all came together quite easily this, this month, unless messing around with the editing um, packages um, so that I could still get this out to you in, in decent time, just a day or so late. So 
Um, but again, it's been rather a hectic month and I'm expecting December to be the same. So um, I hope you find this page works for you, but otherwise I would love to see what you create. Um, don't forget to hashtag or, or, or link me on the socials. I'm on Facey and Pinterest and um, Instagram and you name it. But I would love to hear from you if uh, I inspire you or any of your pages um, for any of the months. But don't forget to share. My month at a glance is, is actually on my favorite watercolor paper. So it's actually on the back of that color palette that you saw me do earlier. So that 190 GSM, as you can see, is lovely and thick and has no ghosting. It handles the watercolor and the ink beautifully. And when you turn it over, the other side is still as crisp and clean as a brand new page, which I do love, all for that bargain price too. So um, because I was creating it on watercolour paper, I thought instead of using my um, Copic markers that I generally use, 
I thought I would dip my brush and add in a little bit of that watercolour to colour those leaves and those acorns and berries. So this month it really really does feature an awful lot of watercolour and no Copic in this setup. I do add it when I when I carry on with my um, week at a glance, my weekly spreads, I will add Copic on those um, digital silk paper but this entire setup this month is on my black card stock in my watercolour paper so a little bit different but that's fun, different is good. Okay, so there you are with when this one is done. That watercolour really does pop, it's sweet. And I have, um, you will see that I've got the December the 1st there. I run my months from one month to the other so that they flow beautifully. Um, again, do what works for you. Um, but I really love how one month begins and ends um, in the following one. So everything runs smoothly together. So okay, I wanted to do a little bit of a uh, celebrate my wins kind of page, be grateful. Um, because I do forget that when I'm so busy in the studio, I forget to celebrate all the great things um, and the accomplishments and the milestones. So this, I decided to do a page um, just to give thanks and that's to, you know, to the world, to my family, to myself for how hard I work and um, to remember my, my blessings this month in particular. So um, this one's a little bit different. Um, each month I do tend to just create the pages that speak to my heart and that's the, the most wonderful thing about bullet journaling is that you get to personalize it to you. It's not a standard diary that is made to be generic to suit everyone. This one is designed to just suit you the pages that you want to see, um, the theme that maybe is speaking to your heart, where you are in your life, things you want to remember, people you want to remember, things you want to celebrate. So for me, bullet journaling has been a real awakening for me that I do just get to focus on me for a moment. And I get to enjoy um, my creativity. I'm not just doing something that's for other people. I'm doing something that just I get to enjoy. Um, and then I get to share a little bit of that with you as well. So um, I'd love to see what you create or, or hear from you if you'd like to see um, something in particular or even if you just enjoyed a video. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what you see, if you'd like to support me um, and my little family because this this is supporting my studio is supporting um, is supporting a local artist and a small artist and that's always a nice thing too. So I do appreciate you for being here even if you're only watching a minute or if you're skipping through to the chapter that most suits you. Um, don't ever think that I don't appreciate every minute, every second of your support because I certainly do.
And there you go, there's my give thanks page with lots and lots of room to put in the things that, that um, make my heart happy and to remind myself to, that I am very, very blessed for my family and, and for my gifts and, and really for my everyday uh, life in itself is a gift. Okay, so we're turning over to the last page um, and this is my weekly spread. So I've just done the one page and I've turned over that beautiful give thanks page. So I've created this one um, on the back of that. Again, this cardstock's nice and thick, so there's no ghosting or issues from one side to the other. Um, because it's the black cardstock I love, I've picked up my fav favourite white gel marker and I'm creating this one purely with that marker. So I will use that to write um, any of my details on and my, um, my diary entries and reminders and exercise and all those things that you write on there on your diary to remind yourself what you have or haven't done or need to do. Um, so this is my general day-to-day. Um, -day. Um, all my pages will look like this. My theme will carry on throughout and I generally create a few pages at a time. I don't generally put do my entire diary from the outset. Um, I do my pages and edit them and share them with you and then I'll sit down sometimes in front of the telly at night and finish those pages off. So so don't think that that when you're creating something like this that you have to hold yourself to things have to all be done to somebody else's schedule. Then you have to be done to yours. If you're going on holiday and you're not going to be writing in your diary, don't don't do a week or two or even a month if, if you think you're not going to use it or you don't have time. Be kind to yourself. So um, I generally do around a week on a page, but again, do what suits you. Um, and before we are actually going to be getting on, and as I said, this is my last page, I do just want to say once again, thank you so much for being here. Do hit subscribe if you like what you see and want to support me and the channel. Um, again, I'll link all those links for you below. So this gorgeous black cardstock, um, it actually is a favourite of mine and it comes also in a really gorgeous sand, a grey and it also comes in a nice crisp white. So I actually buy a pack of this quite often because I use the pages for a lot of things. I use them in my business but I use them a lot in my, in my uh, journal like you can see. Um, I create a different theme generally each month and a different style, but this month I found that just the sweet little boxes and they look, they're going to be looking a bit, little bit like um, tags on a banner or like a fate or something like that when they're done. But um, again, I'll link all those links, links and things for you below and I hope you've really enjoyed this month with me and um, again, I'd love to hear what you think, um, pop that below or follow me on socials and because uh, I do put a lot of my behind the scenes right there and um, I share a lot of my other work with you there as well. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful month. Um, don't forget to give thanks for all you have and I thank you for being here.